I um, I went out and asked some of you some questions, and I got about maybe 17 questions for me to answer for you. C question number uno. Question number one. It is, what turned me into a furry? Um, so this is, I'm getting straight into it, just a little bit of a longer story, but I was like a furry Syrian in like middle school in like sixth grade with a one of my friends that I'm still friends with. We were very cringy. We run around in all fours on like the football field and bark and yeah, it was it was bad. But and then and then I got made fun of and then I stopped and decided I was not a furry or anything and and I was very anti-furry. End of sophomore year of high school, I was like, I found out one of my friends was one of my best friends was a furry, and kind of just went on from there. And I just fell into the whole of the art, the suits, the just being an adorable being. Right. Leon, the next question: How long have I had my suit, and like, who made my suit? So uh, I graduated high school, I saved enough money to get my suit. The person I commissioned was their, is Yummy's Creations. Uh, really helpful, they did some amazing work, and yeah. And I've had this suit in like nine months now, it'll be a year in March. No rips or tears, actually there's a little, so if I turn you can see the foam right there, but that's literally it and that's my own fault because i opened the mouth a little too wide on accident but it happens other than that it's pretty pretty good ah, how i love them little floppy ears next question i've been asked this uh what species is my fursona it's a dutch angel dragon the big ears i have like wings and then a big tail i've also been called a mouse a dog just by just by people and normie seeing me and soon be like oh, it's a mouse i'm not a mouse it's i'm a derg a derg um yes derg dark brain is working right now um oh, there's so many there's some other things i've been i think i've been called a cat i don't know how you got a cat um i've been called stinky how dare you call me stinky you know who you are all right next question is someone asked this what's my opinion on toast Toast is good, very crunchy, and very good with a good sauce on it. Like, I love jam, I like, like, my favorite is butter and jam on toast, on, like, white toast. So good, so good. Sourdough toast, like... Alright, this oh. is a good question. Um, someone asked if, what kind of videos do I want to make? What I really want to do is, I want to be able to just, like film my life and share it with you. Like, not all fursuiting, not all IRL. I want a little bit of a mix of both and I want to just show me traveling and exploring and going to skate parks or just going to a different country and bringing my fursuit and going out and fursuiting or, but sometimes the world doesn't oh, like that, but I would, love to just travel and film and show my adventures in in and out of fursu and show just life of being a furry and what it's like and show that it's literally just like any other person being a cute little dragon into a different another Someone question asked if i was in the dragon or yin gang that's a hard one. <laughs> like, my Dutch is a dragon, but my main sona is a yin. 
Yeah, I like yeens. Yeens are my favorite animals, but also dragons are my second favorite animals. Uh, I'm gonna say yeen gang. I really like my yeens. Like, I go to yeen plush. Yeen. Yeen. I'm gonna go Yeen Gang. Yeen Gang for life. Sorry, clip. Yeen Gang, but I'm also Dragon Gang. But if I had to pick, it'd be Yeen. Sorry. Another question. Someone asked if... Do you like abandoned stuff? I love abandoned stuff. That's another thing I would really want to just film. And... Like, when I travel, go and try to find abandoned places and take photos and film the adventure. Love abandoned stuff. I want more to film more abandoned stuff. But there's a bunch of abandoned stuff here where I live. And I filmed it, but the videos haven't really gotten any acknowledgement. So I want to try doing that again and see. And I've learned a lot more with filming and being and talking and not just... Holding the camera, walking around, just pointing it at things. Silent. Right, here's two more questions. Are a little random. I was gonna do a math question. I'm a dark. I don't math don't work in my brain. Um, it will be somewhere in this box, in the box I'm talking to. But also asked, uh, what is my favorite season? Um, I think probably fall. I really like the pretty colors and the trees. The Weather's not too rainy yet, um, and cold, so I can go out and skate and adventure and fursuit and get some really cool photos with the leaves and whatnot, um, yeah, and then someone else asked if, are there any languages I'd like to learn? To be honest, I'd like to learn them, but I've tried and, I don't know, they just don't want to stick in my brain. Like, I barely passed Spanish in high school, like, I was failing, and my teacher was like, give me a sentence in Spanish, and I asked if I can go to the bathroom, and she was like, okay, you can pass, and put me at the lowest passable grade. I don't know, I'd like to, I really look, like to learn Japanese, because I really want to just, like, live in Japan, and visit there, we'll visit there, maybe live there. Yeah, it's a... Whole dark room. My first few crush. It's gotta be my, it gotta be my mean guy. My melancholy mingus. My bean. I love the bean. The bean's awesome. I will be, I will be filming more videos with the bean. We're just both awkward and shy and don't know how to be on camera. But I'm getting better. I think I'm getting a little bit better and being more. Rah. I'm gonna find another question. Right, um, There's another question somebody asked that's a little random. And then I'll be getting into like con and fursuiting questions. Um, somebody asked what kind of music I'm into. I'm from a little bit of like a spectrum of music. Music. Um, I go from like rock, punk, indie, garage, brain. Come on. It's all the way to like hyper pop. Beats to it, the hard vocals, the auto tune kind of just like not just normal, just singing. Those are, that's all still good, but it's just that stuff is just like the sounds and just make my brain go burr. Favorite events? Brain burr. One of my favorite events to wear my fursuit, the Swiss Bean. So I really like, of course, cons. Who doesn't like cons? Like, they're so, they're so much fun. They're just like, you're around hundreds of other furries and all being like goofy in costumes. Even if you don't have a costume, it's fun to just be around them and say hi to people, give people hugs, uh, boot and boops too. And just so many things. There's, just, there's like events and cons. There's like, you can even like, when you travel somewhere to go to a con, you can do stuff outside of the con, and you're with friends, you're in a hotel. 
with like hundreds of other furries around you that with like room parties are so amazing. Like I'm, I get to go to another con. I actually know I'm getting out, get off the float here in February. So so it's another con video then. Just, so I like going out and like you know like in like downtown areas where it's like a lot of storefront areas where there's people walking and people hanging out um and like just like where a lot of people gather like farmers markets i love farmers markets arcades malls i love malls but usually you get kicked out because you can't have face coverings uh, there's also fur meats like fur meats you can go and group a little furries from like maybe like two people to like a hundred people will co all come together and hang out and take photos and just have fun and smile and be free and be goofy be goober my favorite con i've been to so far is definitely oh god that was actually a hard one either i think blfc blfc was so much fun i mean me and gifts my friend Rhett drove down to Reading, stayed in Reading, and drove to Reno. And Reno, just, I don't know. The LSC was just like, it was my biggest con yet. Because I've only ever been to Ferlandia and Fervana. And just going to a big con like that, and the massive hotel, and meeting so many cool furries, and just like, just being there and the energy and the just being up at like 2 a.m just running around still being goofy all day and you just like at the end of the day you just pass out and you're just you're so exhausted of just running and sweating in these suits Fervana is definitely a second best Fervana was so much fun it was a pretty small con but i had like all of my friends there like it was it was amazing as well. It was yeah. I would recommend going to cons, even even if it's scary. Just go and just walk around. You don't have to interact with anyone. Maybe build up the courage to just go there and hang out, and smile, and just be friendly. Ask for hugs and photos and boops with permission. My favorite con memory. There, there's so many. Like, my ADHD brain can't, like, sit there and be like, that's the one. I have, like, a hundred that I'm like, that's the one. But I think it was probably Fervana. I really liked just being at Fervana. And our hotel room was kind of nasty. It was kind of rough. But it was, it made the con experience so much different. And, yeah, it's just, it's definitely not it. Sorry, I cannot, I'm, I suck at, um, picking, like, being like, that's the best. I'm just like, oh, that one's good, that one's good, oh, that one's good, oh, that one's a good memory. And then it's all just jumble in my brain, and then I can't pick or decide which one, but I'm not really had any, uh, bad con experiences besides just being like i don't know extremely tired and like sick feeling because it's just you're sitting there standing in suit all day sweating and dehydrated with a headache that's probably like my worst con experience i haven't really had any bad con experiences yet you know that's a lie Ferlandia, Ferlandia was Okay, I got ditched by a few people. They just kind of like, they're there, and then they just gone, disappear. They would also like sit there and try to dodge me, which is whatever. It happens. We're furries. People are weird. Um, yeah, besides that, it was all my con experiences have been pretty amazing. Besides, like, for Landy, I went alone because I was bored and I like went out and tried to talk to people and hang out and then that happened but it happens it's life um if there's any other questions you would like for me to answer i will be just saving questions for a while and I, maybe i'll do like a live stream or something or another one of these videos if you want to see it 
Mm. It's weird for me to ask for this, but it doesn't happen until you sit there and ask for it. Please subscribe. I'm so close to 700 subscribers. I may be even there when this video comes out. Like and turn on notifications and doesn't do anything. You're not paying for anything. It's all free. It takes you like two seconds. Just please for this beam. It helps me make more videos and put more stuff out and learn. It gives me hype and energy to just like be like, oh, people like that video. I want to do more of that. And I'm going to do more of that. Um, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate y'all for asking questions and me answering and giving you this video. Bye bye.